Okay, so I'm going to make this video in order to help some of you understand exponent laws a little bit better. It's essential for you to understand this. Um, it's very, very important for you to know it now and to remember it. So the more you do, the better it is. When you look at the numerator, you're going to take a look at the top, and you're going to see that there's a multiplication sign right in the middle. So that means that we're going to have to multiply whatever expression is on here. We're going to start with the numbers. So there's a 3 over here, and you're going to have to multiply by 8. So we're going to have to write that down since you have to show all your steps. You write 3 times 8. With your F's, you have to make sure that when you're doing exponent rules, uh, you have to have the same base. So here I have F to the power of 4, and here I have F to the power of 1. And make sure that you put it in if you kind of forget what the exponents are. So we're going to rewrite the base. You keep the same base and you add the exponents. Same thing with the g's. You're going to rewrite the same base and then you're going to add the exponents. In the denominator, I want you to expand the expression that's in the bracket twice. So we're going to write 3 or 6f squared g to the power of 3 times 6f squared g to the power of 3. Okay, you can choose to put the multiplication sign, or you can just rewrite the brackets as like that. Okay, so you rewrite the same bracket twice because of the exponent 2. Now we're just going to go ahead and evaluate this. So 3 times 8 was 24. Then we had f to the power of 4 plus 1, which is f to the power of 5. And then we have g to the power of 3 plus 4, which is g to the power of 7. Don't forget your equal signs. And now on the bottom, you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. So here we're going to take our sixes and show that we're multiplying them. We're going to take our base of f, keep the same base, and then add the exponents. For g, we're going to keep the same base and again add the exponents. So there's nothing I can do in the numerator, so I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite that. Now I'm going to evaluate the denominator. So 6 times 6 is 36. f to the power of 2 plus 2 is f to the power of 4. And g to the power of 3 plus 3 is g to the power of 6. I have to continue this because there's a division. Okay, So when I'm going to continue this, I'm going to write 24 divided by 36. Oops. Okay, 24 divided by 36. Then I'm going to evaluate for my f's. f to the power of 5 divided by f to the power of 4, you keep the same base, but this time you subtract the exponents. You do the same thing for the g's. So this time it's g to the power of 7 divided by g to the power of 6. We keep the same base and we subtract the exponents. Now you'll notice that when you divide 24 by 36, you get a decimal. And I don't want decimals. No decimals. Okay? That's very, very, very important. But you have to reduce. So, enable to, in order to be able to reduce, I divide both the top and the bottom by 6. And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I think 12 is going to work a little bit better. So, 12 is probably my highest, greatest common factor. 24 divided by 12 is 2. And 36 divided by 12 is 3. I evaluate for f, f to the power of 1. And then I evaluate for g's, which is g to the power of 1. I um, simplify this expression just so that you don't lose communication marks. The exponent ones are not necessary. So we're just going to go ahead and rewrite the answer without the actual exponents. All right, I'm going to continue doing 9f. But this time I'm going to go just a little bit faster. So I'm going to have to expand my expression twice. So I'm just going to rewrite 3a squared b two times. I rewrite the division symbol. Okay. And I rewrite ab twice. Now for the left side of this equation, don't forget your equal signs, we're going to multiply the numbers. So we're going to write 3 times 3. Then we're going to multiply the a's together. a to the power of 2 times a to the power of 2. You keep the same base and you add the exponents. For the b's, we keep the same base and we add the exponents, noting that both exponents are 
1. I rewrite the division sign. a times a is a to the power of 1 times a to the power of 1, which means you keep the same base and you add your exponents. For your b's, you do the exact same thing. You keep the same base and you add the exponents. Just going to go ahead and simplify. 3 times 3 is 9. a to the power of 4, b to the power of 2, divided by a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2. Now I need to divide these two things. So an invisible coefficient of 1 here. Coefficient is the number in front of the expression. So 9 divided by 1. I'm going to divide my a's. a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 2 is a to the power of 4 minus 2. And for the b's, we have b to the power of 2 divided by b to the power of 2. And that means we're going to keep the same base b and go 2 minus 2. 9 divided by 1 is 9, a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2. There's nothing else I can do from here, and that is the final answer. So what I would suggest again is to redo this, these problems without me. Um, play it right up until you're ready to do it on your own. Try it on your own, and then press play to see if you've done it right. Make sure to show all your steps, that's very important. Good luck!